In this quick tutorial, we'll discuss the acid hydrolysis of esters. Question 1 reads, aspirin that has been stored for a long time may undergo hydrolysis in the presence of water and heat. What are the hydrolysis products of aspirin? Take a quick look at this aspirin molecule. You'll notice that there is an ester bond found right here. Remember that esters are molecules that are made up of formerly carboxylic acids and alcohols coming together. And together they form this ester bond. Furthermore, hydrolysis means that we'll be using water to break this molecule apart and the products will be acids. So if we add water to this along with heat and in a solution with hydrogen ions, the ester bond will break and it will form a carboxylic acid namely this part of the molecule and another carboxylic acid with a hydroxyl group. I've highlighted them for reference sake. In case that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. We have our benzene ring bonded to the carboxyl group and now this oxygen forms a bond with a hydrogen ion. We'll name this in a moment. Plus this part of the molecule Specifically, the carbonyl group, which is the carbon double bonded to oxygen, will form a bond with OH from water producing a carboxylic acid, where we have OH again, carbon double bonded to oxygen, and that's single bonded to a methyl group. If you read the molecule name for aspirin, it's acetyl salicylic acid. This product is called salicylic acid. And this part is the acetyl, which on its own is acidic acid. Notice that it is a carboxylic acid. We have OH, single bonded to carbon, double bonded to oxygen, and we have this methyl here. That's the common name for ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Let's continue on with question two. What are the names of the products from the acid hydrolysis of ethyl propionoate? Let's begin by drawing out what ethyl propionoate looks like. As you can tell from the name, this is an ester. We have the alkyl group right here. So ethyl is CH2, CH3. That's the alkyl group that is bonded to the oxygen. And the oxygen is bonded to the carboxylic acid part of the molecule which is propionic acid, but in its ionic form, it's propanoate. Prop means that it's three carbons long. So we have this bonded to carbon, and it's a carboxylic acid, so it's double bonded to O, and the rest of the hydrogens will be filled out. So that's what ethyl propionoate looks like. It is an ester because of this ester bond. They want to know the products formed by the acid hydrolysis. So we're going to add water to this along with heat and in a solution that has free hydrogen ions. The ester bond will break forming ethanol CH2, CH3, OH, that's ethanol, our alcohol, plus the rest of the molecule, this part. This is called propionoic acid. That's the common name for propanoic acid, where this is replaced with A. The common name for ethanol is ethyl alcohol. And there you have it. Two examples where we discuss the acid hydrolysis of esters.